We are here with a registered dietitian, Ani, at one of our local coffee shops to go over some healthy options when you stop in the morning to get your morning cup of joe. Thank you, Sadie. Usually in the morning you are rushed for time to get the kids to school, to get to work, and you go through the coffee shop and you don't really think about the nutrition in what you're drinking. So I'm here today to fill you in on some of that. Great. Um, maybe you could start by introducing us to what drinks maybe we should avoid. Avoid? Well, anything made with half and half or heavy whipping cream or whole milk. Um, those are really going to add calories to the drink. For instance, this 16 ounce brevet is going to have about 320 calories and 80% of your daily saturated fat. So definitely avoid drinks like that. Well, that's fabulous. Um, maybe you can introduce us to some healthy alternatives. Well, a simple cup of coffee is only going to have about five calories. A cup, of co a cup of hot tea is also going to be a really good option, but be careful in how much cream and sugar you add to it because that's really going to add to the calories and sugar content. Um, also, a 60 ounce skinny latte is going to be about 80 calories, 30% of your daily calcium, and about 8 grams of protein, so that would also be a really good choice. Great. Um, Maybe somebody like me who likes a little sweeter, do you have one of those options? Well, yeah, now you have to be careful because the more you add to your coffee, the higher in price it's going to be and the more calories. For instance, if you add a shot of vanilla, it's going to be about an additional 80 calories. Um, get one of these specialty drinks, a whole milk 16 ounce uh, Snickers latte with whipped cream, you're looking at about 610 calories. So, a uh, better option would be to go sugar-free when possible, skim milk, and definitely skip the whipped cream. Great. Well, what about when you're rushing out of the house in the morning and you, know, you forgot your breakfast? You know, are there any options at a coffee shop that are healthy? Well, yeah. A lot of coffee shops offer a variety of baked goods. Um, this particular one has cinnamon rolls. Now, this doesn't include the nutritional information on the back, so it's going to be hard to judge portion size and calories. Uh, one of these might be anywhere from 600 to 900 calories, so not a very good option. Now, something like nuts and dried fruit would be good, but again, there's no nutritional um, information on the back, so it's going to be hard to judge. So maybe have half a pack in the morning and the second half for a mid-afternoon snack. Great. Um, the best option is going to be like a granola bar or something with nutritional information on the back. Um, you're going to want to pick something high in fiber, high in protein, low in sugar, and low in fat. This particular one has only 120 calories. Um, and if your coffee shop doesn't provide some healthy snacks, keep a box in your car so you're not tempted by the big cinnamon roll. Oh, that, that is a great idea. Well, thank you very much, Ani. Well, you thank you. Of, of all our options. Yeah, thank you. Can you hear us?